Look how nice the sky looks today. Oh my god. Did you look at it, Jess? Yeah. Is that orange? Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's vlog. So, um, coronavirus update. Yesterday, <laughs> Jesse's just sitting behind the camera. Yesterday, we got a confirmed case of coronavirus in, um, like our town or whatever. So, that's pretty crazy, and everyone's gone nuts and stuff. Um, I'm gonna talk more about it, like after about what like decisions that I've made and people are being crazy. It's pretty hectic. Um, I'm gonna get the kids up and get them ready and then get on with the day. All right, we are taking the children to school well. So yeah. Oh. Yeah, and your mother, she happy. Oh, what's up? Potato bake. Oh, potato bake, Edward. All right, so I just got home from my appointment as a gynecologist. I'm gonna update on all that in a minute, but I wanted to do an update of what we did yesterday because we a lot, we actually did a lot of stuff yesterday. So the first thing I want to update on, I'm just gonna open my curtain for. Um, the boys and I. I don't know if you remember those wool that Woolies promotion where you got like the seeds and stuff. We still had a bunch of those, but last time we planted a batch of them, they went moldy because I think it was like a common problem with them or some shit. So we didn't plant the rest of them because I was like, that's gross, whatever. So I'm just opening my curtain and then I'll show you. So anyway, we planted them and I also made like our own name tags because I thought they were quite funny. Now I had planned on keeping them out the front because we have a bunch of plants out there anyway but there was a lot of ants and I thought it would probably not be best so we've got a bunch of plants and stuff here we've got a watering thing and they're all just like here because they get sunlight and air but they're not in like direct sunlight I think this was the best spot to put them anyway <sighs> all right so I did some funny tags some of them are funny some of them are just like whatever like this one's chamomile keep calm and drink chamomile tea let us and it says let us do our best to achieve our goals tomato tomato not a vegetable a fruit with a limb um bok choy i think it says you can't see it oh. bok uh choy to the world meaning like joy to the world so we've got a couple tomatoes i think we've got a couple chamomile couple couple lettuce and a bunch of cabbage um, so the next one we have is kale and it says oh kale no another lettuce Parsley what's green and sings Elvis parsley um, We got violet which I actually found out is not these aren't violets. They're violas or something. So that's my bad But I said roses are red violets are blue. I like donuts. How about you? And then we've got some dill So I did what's the big deal? And then we got onion and it says onion karma when you chop us up, we make you cry. And I've got three cabbages. And they say, what is a taxi driver's favorite vegetable? A cabbage. Um, I've got another chamomile and then a dianthus. I couldn't really find much for the dianthus, so I just said bees to meet you, dianthus, and put a little bee there. Um, but yeah, so the boys and I had fun doing that on Sunday. What else did we do? I'm trying to remember. I'm heating up some food to eat um, so I can sit down and talk to you about the appointment and coronavirus stuff, my thoughts on it and whatnot. Um, let me just go to my post. I posted on Sunday. So I said, productive Sunday. We had some of those plant things from Woolies, so we decided to plant them, made our own name tags. Oh, that's what I did. I created printed cut laminate packaged some more baby shower stuff. And we had like a little barbecue together and stuff. Oh, my, my kitchen's a mess, ignore that. Um, so I'll show you the baby shower stuff that I did. Um, excuse the socks, I um, need to pair all those up. But I've packaged all these. I, um, I'm not sure if the baby shower is going to go ahead yet, but I'm getting organized anyway, just in case it does. So, in here, I actually created these myself. Um, I didn't print them off the internet or anything like that. So, the first one we got is this one, which is guess my belly size. Um, so I laminated that one and it comes with strings. So you basically got to put the string 
to whatever length you think and the closest to the correct length wins. We've got baby predictions and advice sheet um, so that everyone can fill these in and I can keep them and we can see who predicted things right and show I guess keep them for the baby when she's older. Show her when she's older. This is a game so it's the one where you put the chocolate in the nappy and you've got to try and guess the chocolate when it's melted. Um, another game which is the baby food. Ugh. So you've got, I don't know what that was, I think I just choked on my own spit. So there'll be six baby foods without labels on it and you've got to try and guess what the flavour is. Oh my god, I'm going to fall. And the last one is the price is right. So I'll have each of these items on display and you've got to try and guess how much they're worth. And the person who has the closest total will win. So um, yeah, I'm probably going to put something on these bags like a little like ribbon. I'm not too sure yet, just to add a bit of pop of colour. But for now... I have this done. All right, so I had my gynecologist appointment this morning. Something funny that happened at the start that I have to say in here because I'm such a dumbass. Um, it, I got a message reminder saying, you have an appointment, make sure you go through the sliding doors, not the main entrance. And I was like, okay, cool. So I went to the main entrance because that's the only way that I know how to get to the gyno area anyway. Um, and it was all like coronavirus testing, don't come here. Like they do it, that's where they do the drive through coronavirus testing or whatever. So like, okay. So I walked out and I called Jesse and I was like, where's that? Like, where's Essington Lewis? Because I needed to be on the Essington Lewis side apparently. And he's like, on the other side. And I was just like, ah. so he came and picked me up, drove me around. I went through the, um, I got a message. I went through the doors that are sliding doors that are um, to the x-ray and like where you get scans and stuff department. Followed all the signs to get to the gyno and I ended up at the fucking coronavirus testing area again. And there was this like security guy at the door and he was just like standing there like this looking at me like what are you doing here type thing. And then some lady came up behind me and tapped me on the shoulder and she goes, oh you look a bit lost, do you need a hand with anything? And I was like, I'm trying to get to the gynecologist and she's like, oh you need to go this way. So I took all the way out and then apparently there's a side door on the building that I didn't know about that you can go through. Pardon me. So I got there in time, so that's good. Well, was it like five minutes late or something? But I like, was so lost. I was just like, oh my God, like, how did I end up at the coronavirus testing area? But anyway, so that happened. Um, got into my appointment and because my pregnancy, I've had like no issue, no major issues. They, my gyno appointments are literally like five minutes long. Um, the only thing he did was he checked my blood pressure um, felt the baby and my stomach and stuff and then did the heartbeat and then he gave me this like information sheet on coronavirus which I'll have a read for coronavirus during pregnancy or whatever and he said that babies and pregnant ladies seem to be at the lower end of the risk scale so um, that's good but um mm. I pretty much, I don't have any more gynecologist appointments unless something, like unless a midwife picks something up that's like not right. So I'm 32 weeks. I was meant to have one more gyno appointment before the baby comes. Um, and the rest are all midwives. And so they changed my next gyno appointment to a midwife appointment. And they're also starting to put this thing in place where all midwife's appointments will be home visits instead of bringing... Um, so many more people to the hospital or something so I have to wait for phone calls to organize that stuff all right so coronavirus in Australia as I said this morning we have a confirmed case in Wyala now and like just like through the rumor mill or whatever just through people and word of mouth um, apparently it was someone who was traveling who came home from overseas but they didn't self self quarantine or whatever for the two weeks so they went out into the public and so it's probably going to spread like real talk. Um, so I'm not freaking out about it, but mainly because uh, I'm not saying it's not that bad, but like we have one confirmed case here now um, and I'm sure that it will spread. But I don't see a point in like stressing myself over it when there's nothing I can do about it really. And I'm taking all the measures that I feel necessary um, to keep like myself safe and the kids safe and the family safe and stuff. So our, everyone's freaking out about 
wanting to get the schools closed. We have three more weeks of school before school holidays. The PM, Prime Minister, whatever, had like a meeting with some like health ex experts and a bunch of people to see if that was something that we were going to do in South Australia. Because I know some other states in Australia have done it, closed schools and stuff. Um, and at this point in time, they are not closing the schools down. So my boys are still at school. They have said in the statement, if you would like to keep your kids home, feel free to. Um, but they're keeping them open for now. So pros and cons. Okay, so the only con in my family that I see with sending the... Did I say con or pro? Cons are bad, isn't it? The only bad thing I see with sending my kids to school is... Like, if they get it, they'll be fine because they're healthy kids. They don't have any underlying conditions. They probably won't be affected much if they get the coronavirus. But the only problem is if they bring it home and give it to, like, grandma and granddad or me because I have a heart condition, so I am at the, I guess, higher risk of getting, like, more severe symptoms. Grandma and granddad, obviously, because of their age. I think granddad's got um, blood pressure or heart, I don't know, things. And grandma's got diabetes and asthma. So that's the only con that I see in my situation. I can understand parents keeping their kids home. Like, it's totally your choice. Um, you can do what you want. Like, I feel like you, if you are think you're making the right decision for your kid, do it. Um, but I, after he announced that he's not closing down schools, I scrolled through Facebook. And the amount of parents that are getting shamed and judged for sending their kids to school is bloody ridiculous. I don't understand why people feel the need to do that because like it's your choice like I'm sending mine and I'm not shaming people for keeping this home I'm like it's like everyone gets their own choice and whatnot so it's just crazy seeing the amount of hate that people are getting for sending their kids to school um cons of keeping them at school that I've read up and like just having conversations with people is essential workers can still stay at work because their kids are at school like they might they might have had to stay home if they they close the schools down so we'll lose like nurses and stuff like that um grocery shop workers if they can't find alternative places for their kids second if they close the schools down and people still need to work and stuff um grandparents might need to babysit and they're like at risk and whatever and sometimes kids don't show signs of the coronavirus or very mild <laughs> signs so they could pass it on or whatever um obviously the like well my kids school they're they're kind of like taking in a lot of precautions so they encourage um distance between people they um taught the kids properly how to wash their hands they get them to wash their hands multiple times a day um they've like educated the kids on the coronavirus what it is um, ways you can avoid, you know, spreading shit around, like teaching about germs and stuff like that. So they've taken a lot of steps to, um, help with preventing the spread of it, I guess. Um, they're also put out this thing. We got a message on the school app this morning that a lot of people are choosing to keep their kids home and that is perfectly fine. Um, the school's working on preparing two weeks worth of work per kid. So if you're going to keep them home, they have work to do as well. Um, but yeah, so I don't really have like a big like reason to send my kids to school. I just don't have, like I don't feel the need to keep them home at this point in time. Obviously, if I did feel the need, I would do it. Um, but I feel like, you know, everything's still fine at the moment. So I'm going to send them. The screenshot of the current coronavirus, coronavirus, the current coronavirus update in Australia. So we have 1,356 total cases in the whole of Australia. We have seven deaths total. So in New South Wales, we've got 533 cases. In Victoria, we have 296 cases. In Queensland, we have 259 cases. In Western Australia, we have 120 cases. In Northern Territory, we have five cases. In ACT, we've got 19 cases. And in Tasmania, we've got 22 cases. Now, I live in South Australia, and in the whole of South Australia, we have 100 cases. Now, I'm sure by the time I post this vlog, it'll probably be more, um, because it's, like, getting more and more every day. But hopefully people are responsible, follow all the, um, 
like advice that we've been given to this point in time. I am. I don't go out unnecessarily. Um, I pretty much go to the shop only if I need to. Um, I go to take the kids to school and I go to pick them up and that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much what the gynecologist said to me. He just gave me basic advice like, oh, keep your social distancing, stay away from people that are sick, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's the current situation with the coronavirus now. So, yeah. I swear she thinks this is her bedroom. Is this your room, Mias? This is your realm? Hmm? I've been putting around the house just getting all the cleaning and stuff done. I think I got most of it done. I do want to mop the floors, but I don't know if I'll get it done today. Um, but now all of a sudden it's almost time to pick the boys up. I don't know where all my whole day's gone. So weird. I need a charger. But I'm going to charge my phone for about 20 minutes until I need to go pick up the boys and then I'll go and grab them. How was school? Well. Go well. Yeah, it looks too good, dude. Finger. Look, while you, you opened the door and didn't open the door. Hello. <laughs> I feel nice silly. outfit. I, 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 you got Corona. He's got I was school well. Freaking good. Oi, what's your mouth? Good. <laughs> That's good. That's not here right now. I, I play, I'm playing off the girl in the game. I got lots of arms. You want a hug? Here you go. That went all the way to your brain. It didn't get into my brain. That's, That's on vlog. It's on vlog. Your butt stinks. Your butt stinks. <laughs> I'm naked. I don't got my Watch out on the TV. No. <laughs> uh, Bay got home, obviously. For you. Well, you've seen him actually because I walked in the door. But anywho's, I think I'm going to start cooking some stuff for tea. I got out some chicken and I'm going to make stir fry. This kid is getting sick or if he is just tired. Okay. Kaden. Kaden, dinner's ready, mate. Come wake up and have some food, please. Alright, so I did stir fry that you've seen and I just way out. Right? Alright, so um as I said before, Kaden's not feeling the best, so he has a sore throat and he had a bit of a headache, so we gave him some Nurofen and his headache started to go away now and he seems to be doing a lot better, so that's good. But I'm going to be keeping him home from school for show. Something I forgot to say. Um, we haven't been able to get hold of the formula that we're going to be using for the baby. Well, we, we've only tried colds, we haven't like extensively looked for it or anything. But while Grandma was at the shop today, she found a tin. So she grabbed it for us. So this is one we're going to be using. This is one we use for both the boys, and I think with Caden, we used an, a couple of other different formulas, but they didn't work for him, and this was the one that worked, and it worked for Jackson, so we're going to get this one for the baby as well, um, just in case, like, shit goes wrong with my boobs, or whatever. You feel better?
my god. We're just doing some dishes. We're just doing some dishes and I need some couple more chocolate for a bit. Oh, do you know what shape they are? They're a shape of a triangle. Look, fire moving stick. Yeah. Tom, what you at school today? Yes, what I learned at school today. I I learned about 3D shapes. Oh yeah, you were telling me about that after school. Oh yeah, like after school. What's a 3D shape? Um, a a brick. I mean, a cube. Is that a 3D shape? That is a 3D shape. So do you know what is a cube? Is that a 3D shape? What's a 2D? Um, 2Ds are a bit flat. Am I flat? No, you're 3D. Yeah, I'm 3D. Are you, are you, are you 2D? No, I think I'm 3D. You are 3D. Okay. Bye, guys.